Yo, yo, what's good, guys? I just, it's your boy Speed talking to you guys with some meta discussion of Ninjala. So today I wanted to bring something new. I wanted to bring out a new thing where I talk about meta for the current the current meta of Ninjala for this week or the previous week or what's going on in Ninjala basically and give you guys a breakdown of the current meta so you guys can adapt, learn, and tech on and see. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Black for Black Three V Three for letting me use his background his background footage for this video so that's who that's the twitch streamer he streams regularly in Ninjala, so i do suggest you check him out on twitch i'll leave a link to him in the description below so you guys can check him out but yeah i'm gonna be talking about the meta and let's just get right into it so i already have some prepared notes i also would like to encourage you guys in the comments below if you guys have anything i should discuss for next week since i do want to make this a weekly thing if you guys have anything you guys want me to discuss for next week for meta discuss meta discussion just let me know. I'm going to hit you guys with the meta, see what I've observed, see what I've seen from other players like Disciple, a, a regular streamer, people like that in the meta. So you guys can see where I'm coming from and where you guys might be able to see other stuff. So yeah, let's just jump into this for week one and my discussion notes. I'm also going to be picking up out from Ninjala's Daily Diary number seven. And what we're going to be tackling is mostly from that video. So if you haven't seen it, I'm going to be partnering up with that and this meta. So just letting you guys know. All right, let's jump right into it. So we've already just moved. We previously just moved from version 1.1 to version 1.2. You guys have seen that in my patch notes. When I went down in the patch notes, it went through everything. So first thing I wanted to cover was version 1.1 skateboard effects and current. So what I basically wrote down in this notes is I wanted to tackle what the new skateboard is going to bring in the season two. How would it affect a version 1.1 if we were still in that current meta? And how would it affect this current meta, which is in place right now? So version 1.1 meta was a little bit different. Ranked was kind of messed up. You had to be winning unless you lost a lot of points and you weren't getting enough. Version 1.1 ranked wasn't that fun, but hey, we all made it through somehow. First off, the meta was favoring people that play droners, so ran around with drones instead of getting that one influence, which I really wish the skateboard would have been great at. I feel like skateboard's a great weapon that if you throw that boy down, you can easily chase someone and get a hit off, or you can chase someone and get the drone. It's basically that chase off of where I can't catch you because you ran away, or I can get this drone now because I'm fast enough. It's a good, like, on par of are you going to chase drones, or are you going to fight people so this was the i think this weapon would have been great for meta version 1.1 and actually would have made a difference and made a big impact if it was out at that time i think it's important to think about how this weapon could have been used back in the past even though it's not out yet i think it's important to improve and see what we could have used it from the past so we can see what we can do it in the future you want to look back at how the previous metas were and improve in vod review i i do really do suggest you guys like Think about and see what you guys can improve from the previous meta to make this meta your meta and dominate and win. I see this game getting competitive and I just want to improve on that too. So that's why I see the skateboard being great in version 1.1 meta. Now, current meta right now, since we're just diving in, the yo-yo's been nerfed. They buffed Tornado, giving Katana's really a good, like, a good Punisher move. Also, Pusher for for escape uh, drones if they wanted to play drones or influence. They're a great offense and defense mix in. I really like it. But it's how would skateboard play in. Also, we do have that dragon coming in, so you could probably you could run away from the dragon since it's been buffed. I think that's a really thing, good thing skateboard could have did. Tornado easily run away from that it would have probably fixed tornado a little bit if we had more skateboard players or a mix in i think skateboard could have made maybe made tornado a little bit like this buff okay i don't know what the next version is i think they probably gave them the next version if it's um they probably do version 1.3 or uh i don't know i really think the next version will come out when season 2 comes up which i'm okay with now uh, what else got buffed? We, oh, I know yo-yos got nerfed. I don't know how skateboard would play against yo-yos. It doesn't look like it has the range. It feels like it has the range of a hammer, really, or close to a hammer slash katana. So I think it'd be mm, previous maybe okay. I think it would have been decent since it had a runaway material, so it could go for drones if they just couldn't win that impoom fight or that KO fight. So I do feel like yo, -yo I feel like skateboard just has that chance of like it's really up to the person and what it's all basically being a punisher depending on which skateboard you play because we don't know the other specials i really feel like that's a, that's a nice mix and you got a nice mix-up game right there you got a little nice you got a, a nice sauce to the pizza you know before you add the cheese but <laughs> let me get it over the cheddar because you already know <laughs> all right let me stop with the puns but i think skateboard would have been nice in this meta we don't know yet this it's like i think the first week i don't remember yeah uh patch notes came out like a few days ago it's literally like the first like few days of version 1.2 so we still don't know the meta but yeah 
also i want to i was finna i want to go into this right away this improves on the meta of current right now current meta ranking and this is my next note the ranking system is not okay i've seen a lot of people gain four to three points every single match even in some stack lobbies i consider a stack lobby as if you have multiple of your rank or multiple of a rank below you or if you have like they have to be like right under your rank so like if you're a master you have multiple elites in your lobby and also like a super god i suggest that if you have someone above your rank no matter what you should get more than four or three points you should get more than that. It's just not fair. I don't feel like it's fair to other people. I feel like the current meta for ranking isn't fair. You literally have to win. Or if you lose, you get like minus 30 or minus 20. Especially for teams right. that get discouraged because they don't have a lot of points getting because they get matched up with fewer people that aren't of their scale. So they get matched up with adapt or beginners. And then once they lose, they they lose all those points they just got and they may have just went up against stacks and which isn't fair i do i do like that the current like ranking system is is like if you win if you lose against uh people around your rank you automatically get put in unstacked lobbies with people like beginners and everything i think that's not okay for the beginners but for someone of higher rank that helps you get that oh, okay I, let me get back into the swing of things let me just get good into this match and then you get you play that one match you feel good and then they I, they sometimes this doesn't happen all the time it's happened to me a few times and they put they put you in a stack lobby right after and you just go in and you dominate and you crush it i think that's great you just aren't earning enough points and i really think they should give you points on how you perform how many points you got not just four to three automatically it really discourages a lot of people to play ranked and can overall make the player base go lower so i think that's something they need to fix on and oh that was my third note ranking fix the ranking i don't i, I have meta for ranking right now i don't really know it's really just an implement battle with people running away when they know they can't win and they know they're getting those points but like inputs are worth more than regular drones which i like but if you do an alt intro input you will just get a hundred which is basically a drone but if you can sauce up and add some extra stuff it may be giving you more points so right now the current meta for ranking really is to get influence like people aren't can't really drone hunt as much you may get lucky and get the drone advantage which is basically give you the extra 500 which gives you the points you need but otherwise you really just don't get everything you need i feel like the current meta could be used but could be fixed up with just some extra points because it would encourage people to stop playing scary as much and also just play the game man i'm get, there's too many fights where i'm in our teammates i've heard playing in a game and we they run away and there's nothing you can do i also think that the tornado should get nerfed because I, to be honest an easy yeah, man, nerf of this meta i feel like would just upping the ninjutsu gauge for tornado i don't tornado i don't i also think maybe a little bit of a um what's it called uh let me think a damage nerf because i've seen a clip where someone's hit someone once and turned off the tornado and they instantly died i think that's not fair i think you should be at least course to a little bit close to half health or more to be able to get killed instantly off a tornado i don't think that's all right they really need to fix their tornado right now it de deserves a nerf but yeah, that's really it. Otherwise, our tornado is really fine. Maybe up the ninjutsu gauge if they want to keep the damage at least a lot, and I'd be fine if you, people bomb, can't just bomb, put it up, pull that move out anytime. So let's fix into the next um notes, which is lag switch fix. There's too many people I see lag switching, and I've gotten to some team matches where my teammates get very discouraged because they can't play a game without someone lagging, and I think there should be some kind of, I think that relies on the servers a little bit, but also the people too, because it's sometimes when we go against the same team and it's just them lagging every single time where we can get other people that don't lag, and it's almost like they're lagging on purpose, and there's also people that at the very end of the match start lagging, and I think there's like this lag switch thing. And I don't know if the report system does hey, anything. I've only reported with someone oh. once, and I knew they were lag switching because they literally switched on their lag at the very end of the game for some weird, odd reason and started trying to make a comeback while switching their lag up, which was really confusing. But I think something about that could be fixed. It's part of the servers. It's probably not even them themselves, but there needs to be something about this to fix. But hey, let's go into my next my next note, which is kind of the input to drone meta right now. Like I said, the current meta right now favors people that input instead a drone hunt i think there should be an equal balance depending but i feel like depending on um drones right now this i think points to 100 to 200 for tier 2 being 200 tier 1 being 100 and then inputs being 100 to if you do a parry and stuff like that i think that's okay and dandy 
I don't think there needs to be any fix with the in maybe a little bit with the input system, but so far I think it's been it's been good with how you get an input or not. At the first of the beginning of version 1.0, it was really difficult to say if you get an input or a cool or a KO. But right now I feel very confident. I don't know if you guys are feeling confident. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are how you guys are feeling about the input and drone ratio, how everything is going. Do you feel like you should get more points for drones or more input more points with input? Just let me know because you do get those bonuses at the end with mastery so don't forget that you get that a thousand with input and 500 with drones so you do get something there right now also for very last notes i wanted to drop into for the meta discussion is final skateboard thoughts my final thoughts on the skateboard is i really think it's something going to be unique something different into the meta and i'm really excited for it i really don't know what else they could be inheriting or what else they could really do i think that edge skateboard has been great as in you can do a trick and get that once you you can keep doing tricks but you only get that one power buff i think that was fair i thought it was gonna be a timer but if it was some kind of timer mechanic i think it'd be very unfair for the person on the other side as in you in 10 seconds that they gave that you could pretty much kill someone in 10 seconds let's be honest this is a fast get fast space game if you know what you're doing you can hit off a decent combo in 10 seconds so i'm really happy to see what they're doing here and i can't wait for the skateboard to be honest i personally feel like i want to man it if you guys know i personally longboard in real life so i can't wait to touch the skateboard and see what's going on i may want to jump into the sword one or the bubblegum one i really don't know i'm not a fan of punisher type ultimates i like ultimates that kill instantly and gets right there so i don't know what i'm going to pull on but it just counts on whatever season two brings right now the game's looking decent i really just hope more people get tournaments running more meta discussion going that's what i'm hoping to encourage with the meta discussion comments and the videos right here i just hope they encourage more people to get more tournaments running more ninjala stuff more ninjala content going into the field so i'm hoping you guys enjoyed this this is really the last night was the closing guys i hope i was keeping up with everything you guys liked if you guys want me to talk about anything in the next meta discussion i think the me next meta discussion will be focused on the current meta and anything i missed and what you guys have to comment and i'll maybe try to bring on a host if i can't cover everything myself i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have like i said before any meta discussion things just let me know and i'll see what i can do this was speed game rank i hope you guys could probably subscribe help me out i'm on the grind 800 subscribers and i also stream ninjalo on twitch sometime the time too so if you guys enjoyed this i'll talk to you later thank you guys bye